you're moving where? This has been the response many have received after announcing that they're moving to Northwest Tasmania. So we asked a few people who have made the journey to tell us what brought them here and why they've stayed. This is Stephanie's story. My name's Stephanie Yench, wife to Roger and mother to three teenage children, Reuben, Lexi and Charlotte, living here in Wynyard, northwest coast of Tasmania. We were both working in a professional career capacity um, and decided that because we did want to have children at some stage in the future, we needed to be able to find the next possibility and opportunity for him. So when this particular opportunity came up, we decided to take a punt and have a go at applying for it. Uh, and we're delighted that, uh, in fact, we were invited to Tasmania because I'd certainly never been to Tasmania before then. Um, Tasmania in the early 2000s was um, very topical around the nation for a whole heap of reasons, not least of all um, new ideas and new political policies that were being talked about here, quite innovative ideas. And, and so we turn on the radio and it seems every day they were talking about Tasmania. And that was very attractive to us, is thinking about, well, this is a new opportunity for us. Proximity to an airport was going to be pretty important for us to be able to visit family and do so cheaply and to have that accessibility. We're not isolated. We've got great access to major cities, um, large communities. Wynyard's 7,500 people. Burnie's n nearly 20,000 people. So, you know, we've got the best of both worlds living in a, in a rural subdivision outside of a, a relatively large, small community um, and, you know, close to a city, which is 20 minutes away from us. Without doubt, the biggest thing that you give up when you relocate from your hometown is your family. What we have found here, though, is that we, we don't have blood family. We've now got friends who are a family and they've wrapped, us, wrapped themselves around us in the same way that family would be. As a newcomer to a community, you need to make yourself available to become uh, a part of a community. You have to put yourself out there. Look, not, not long after we got here, I um, uh, found a job very easily in a, in a part-time capacity to enable us to be able to settle in and find our feet here. So professionally in work, work circles, we were able to very quickly make those connections. I need to paint a picture here where as 28 year olds moving to Tasmania, what we did at weekends was very, very different to now as you know, 48 year, nearly 48 year olds with family. Um, so back in 2000, 2001, we would spend every weekend hopping on a, in the car and going for a drive and exploring every back road we could possibly do to see what there was. And you know, there really is a story around every corner here and lots and lots of things to see and do. So within an hour and a half, we are at Cradle Mountain and so could experience snow for the first time. We could be um, in a city having beautiful meals, you know, within two hours. We could be um, on the Wild West Coast in an hour and a half or two and experience amazing landscapes. None of that's changed. What it has changed over the last 18 years is um, capacity to fit that kind of exploration in with family commitments and sporting commitments and all of the other things that we like to do and see in our local community. Cost of living wise, you're able to, your money goes far further in buying your family home. Very, very reasonable. We have access to the most remarkable fresh produce through our farmers markets and our, um, our providors and and we also have access to, you know, national chain stores in, in terms of, you know, supermarkets. So it's not like we don't have access to um, reliable food supply and great produce, because we do, and at reasonable prices. So in terms of cost of living, um, it's very livable. One of the things about the northwest coast which is quite remarkable is how rich the cultural offering is. Never mind the fact that, you know, we, in a very short space of 20 minutes, we have access to, you know, galleries, we have visiting um, exhibitions, we have festivals all along the coast right through the year. So, you know, there's no shortage of um, living, breathing expressions of the northwest coast in, you know, everywhere you look. Having made three Tasmanians, that's all they know. Our children only know themselves as Tasmanians. And I think what they appreciate is the fact that they have access to, you know, 
this this is what they know their backyard is is what it is and so for us to share our five acres with you know bandicoots and native hens and wallabies and potteroos and quolls and you name it and the bird life which is astonishing and i said we're, we're two minutes from an airport we're you know we're five minutes from the center of our local community and schools uh, and and yet what we've had to do is sort of protect our vegetable garden which i, I love to grow uh, and work in the garden we've had to sort of barricade ourselves in and um, to protect against the native animals because we, we are we are having to share our beautiful landscape with that it's a beautiful thing. Proudly brought to you by Business Northwest, promoting regional growth.